There is a fun Easter egg um, on Jaime's uh, sweatshirt that indicates that he went to law school, pre-law, in Gotham City. So here's a big question. Who is his Batman? Um, that is actually a great question. <laughs> We don't need Rose. Dude, I'm so jacked to talk with you, man. Thank you for taking the time. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Pleasure to meet you. Of course, man. Um, I'm going to start out with a very nerdy question, so please forgive me. Um, we obviously know that Batman exists in this universe. He is name dropped. But there is a fun Easter egg um, on Jaime's uh, sweatshirt that indicates that he went to law school, pre-law, in Gotham City. So here's a big question. Who is his Batman? Is it Ben Affleck? Is it Robert Pattinson? Is it Jim Clooney? And do you think that he ever saw Batman while he was in law school? Like, are these backstories you have to come up with whenever you put that on his sweatshirt? No, not, not really. When we thought about it, we were like, okay, it does make sense to, in order for the story to show Jaime Reyes and him coming, like, coming home after being studying abroad, we were like, well, let's just make him go. Because we knew he was going to be, a, he was starting pre-law. So we were like, let's send him to Gotham so that he can come with Gotham school, with Gotham law school uniform. Uh, and kind of like just show the world that Jaime Reyes and Blue Beetle exist within the universe of DC. As far as which Batman it is, um, that is actually a great question. Uh, we wanted to make it feel like it could probably belong to any of the Batmans that we have learned to love. Uh, and, and hopefully in the future, we'll see with who he teams up with. All I'm saying is I'm talking to you from Chicago right now, which of course is famously Christopher Nolan's Gotham City. Uh -huh. So if you ever wanted to come shoot here and you needed a reporter in Blue Beetle 2, I'm just, I'm just pitching it, man. I'm just saying. I, I don't I'm see there. why not. Right, right now, Warner Brothers is going, oh, my God, he's the first interview of the day, and he's pitching himself. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, I want to talk to you about uh, the first moment the show gets to put on the suit as an actor. You know as a director, he's going to be asked about that moment for the rest of his life. It's always going to be brought up in interviews. So what do you do on your end to make sure that moment is special and that he has a good story to tell for the rest of his life? So that, that, that was actually a beautiful moment. I think that was a culmination of things. We, the first time we were able to see him, I saw him like trying the suit a couple times and it was such a technical environment that it was kind of like sending off, sending off, oh, it looks great or it's tight here, whatever, like flexibility, because he was, a, you know, the suit being practical, we used it 100% of the time in the movie. So every time you see the suit, for like 95% of the time you see the suit on the movie is 100% practical. So we needed him to feel comfortable because he also did some of the stunts too. He has that martial arts background, so it was very technical. But we, we, we did like this look and feel uh, video and that was really like the first time I saw Sholo become Jaime Reyes and become the Blue Beetle. And it was when he had the suit. You could see like his face, his hair, and he's like eating a taco at the edge of a building. And we were like, oh my gosh. We were crying because it was so emotional. And he was crying too, because he's like, oh my gosh, I can finally see myself become the superhero I was meant to be. Love that, love that. Uh, this is a big question. When you make a movie this big, you have to consider massive audiences, all kinds of demographics. But how much do you consider uh, one person. I'm talking about the kid who is sitting in the theater, the kid whose family and culture haven't been represented on the big screen in a superhero movie this way, who's never seen a superhero movie modeled after someone who looked like him. How is it important not to, if only for a moment, not to consider all audiences, but that one singular kid in that theater who's going to be there opening weekend who says, dude, he looks just like me? Well, I guess like one of the things that that comes with that conversation is the fact that I don't, I never try to be Latino. I am Latino. And everything that I do is what I am. So by doing a film that happens to have Latino front and center, uh, uh, Latino cast and Latino writers and director, for us, it wasn't so much about, oh, let's be Latino. It was like, finally, we can be ourselves. 
finally we can show ourselves authentically for who we are and represent at least a little bit of that, public, of, because Latinos are not a monolith, but at least if we can capture a glimpse of what it is, if, you, if I was to welcome you to our house and get a glimpse of what our flavor and our culture is and how not only it can be specific, but through that specificity also be universal. It, it was something that just came out. What, what, when we went off to do the movie, one of the things we wanted to have fun was by saying, what would my younger self would have loved to see? And we did it for that person. I absolutely love it, dude. Um, I can honestly tell you, my girlfriend is Puerto Rican, her family's Puerto Rican. For, for opening weekend, they're already set. They're good to go. Like they, they, they're ready. They're there for yeah. it. Yeah. Um, seriously, man, if you can't tell, I've been so jacked to talk with you. I'm really glad we we're able to make this work out. I know there's a lot going on right now. So seriously, I appreciate you uh, being front and center on this and taking the lead. And, and thank you for your time, man. And yeah. I appreciate the questions and thanks for everything. Thanks for the support. And don't forget, Blue Beetle, August 18. You're good at this. Well done. Ah. Appreciate you, man. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. All right. Ciao. Oh, we're going, we don't need roads.